One of the most useful document management tools in AutoCAD is the Sheet Set Manager. The Sheet Set Manager is a tool that allows you to manage your drawing sheet sets. A sheet set is a collection of drawings that were created in AutoCAD. With this management tool, users can open any file in the set, batch print or print specific files, manage project information, and share data with other files and with other people. Sheet sets really shine when multiple drawings are needed in a set, and especially when you need to collaborate between other users or other departments on the same project. To open a sheet set manager, just type SSM for sheet set manager, press enter. Now if you had one open recently, it may populate the manager. The sheet set manager is just a palette, just like anything else, just like your properties palette, your layers palette and your tool palettes. You can move it around, you can dock it, you can auto hide it. Just do whatever it is that you need to do. Now to open up a sheet set file, you can come up here to this control area and go to open. Now if you've opened some recently, you can go to the recent list and it will show you where it is. This is the one that I currently have open right now. But go to open and then browse to your file. A sheet set file will end in a .dst. This is an example file that comes with AutoCAD. Open it up. This sheet set doesn't have any drawings in it. These are all subsets and they're ready for you to put drawings into it. So if you want to start off brand new, this is a good file to start with. You can also open up sheet sets just by browsing to them through the Windows Explorer. Double click on the DST file that will open up AutoCAD and will open up the Sheet Set Manager. If AutoCAD's already open, then it will take you right to AutoCAD and open up the sheet set that you've double clicked on. Now once you've opened up more than one, you'll have them in your list here. The one with the check mark is the one that you currently have open. Now if we look at this file here, this manufacturing sheet set, and you can find it in our files. Just browse to the right folder and look up the manufacturing sheet set.dst file and click open. I already have it open, so it just comes right here. Now, this sheet set has several drawings in it. You can click on any one of it to open the proper file. So I can find the cover sheet right here, and I can find our roller assembly drawings and some of the other part drawings. And then I can go down to different details. Now these are what are called subsets. We'll talk a little bit more about them a little bit later on. But the nice thing about sheet sets, well there's more than one, I really love sheet sets. But the great thing about this, I have no idea where this file is. So I can just open up the sheet set and then double click on this name of the file and it opens it up right here. Now I can come and I can work in this, I can print it out, I can save it, can get it ready to send to a client. I can do whatever I need with it now. But this gives me access to the file. Sheet sets also make it easy to print your set. If you go to any one of these drawings, or any one of these subsets, or in fact, the entire sheet set, just right click on it, and go to publish. Now I can publish this to a DWF, a DWFX, a PDF, I can publish it to a printer or, or plotter. I can go to some default page setups. I can do even more. I can publish them in reverse order. I can put a plot stamp on them. I can do a lot of different things. So if I want, I just click on the publish to plotter and I send all of the drawings right there. I don't have to open them up. I don't have to do anything except print the drawings. That's a big time saver. Now sheet sets can also store information in your drawings, like a drawing number, or a title, project name, etc. Anything that you may want to use later on in your files, you can. You can also customize properties for your sheet sets. One that I typically add to it is total number of sheets. You can just right click on the sheet set name and go to properties. There are several default properties that come with every sheet set, and that's right here. Sheet set name, this is the name of it. Sheet set data file, that's the DST file that tells you what it is and where it is. You can put in a description, you can save different views to it, different labels, 
You can also put in page numbers, names, phase, milestones, who is it drawn by. I've even created some custom properties, which are right here. This one's called, who is the best CAD guy ever? Brian, that's me. You can set up just about anything you want, drawn by who is it, you know, the best CAD guy ever. You can just click on the add button, give it a name, give it a default value, assign it to a sheet set or specifically to a sheet and click OK. We'll get more into all these things a little bit later on. I just wanted to give you a quick overview of what a sheet set can do. Now, if you add a drawing to your list, it can be a big pain to renumber the sheets that are affected. For example, there are 15 drawings in your set. Let's say, oh, wait a minute, we need to add a new part. Okay, so we make a new part. It has to come in here somewhere. Let's say it needs to be sheet 9, and the rest of these need to move down. So 9 becomes 10, 10 becomes 11, 11 becomes 12. It messes everything up. And the farther up the list you go, the more drawings you have to change. Well, it's not that big of a deal, really, in the Sheet Set Manager. I'm going to assume that we're going to add a new sheet too. I'm not going to do it here. I'm going to show you that later on. But let's say now I have to renumber all of these. If you're not using sheet sets and you just put in regular text in your title block with your AutoCAD drawings, then you're going to have to open up all 14 of these drawing files and make a change and then save it and then close it. Go to the next one, change the drawing number, save it, and close it. And that takes a long time for something that's very menial. But with sheet sets, I can right click on any of these sheets, any of these drawings, go to rename and renumber. Click it. Here's the drawing number. Now I type in three because now we're changing this from two to three. Click next. It goes to the next file. And you see here the drawing number is changed. We go to 04, 05, 06. So you see, this is actually very easy. And I can keep going all the way down the list. I can go forwards or backwards through my list. When I'm done, I click OK. And now this drawing, which I have open, and you can tell that this one is open because there's a little lock symbol right here. That means somebody has it open. Probably have noticed this when you hover over one of these files, it gives you a bit of a preview, tells you who has it open, on what machine, and it gives you some information about the file, who it's drawn by, etc. Sheet size, anything else you need to know. But we changed this drawing from number two to number three. You can see here it is right there. If I just refresh my screen, the number was automatically updated. I didn't change anything in this block here. In this file, I didn't put in new text. I didn't try to edit it. This is just a field, and the field can read sheet set information. And that's how cool it is. Now, if I want to change it back, I just come here to the sheet sets, right click, rename and renumber, type in the new number, 02, click OK, and I come down here. Oh, it didn't change. Well, do a regen all, R E A. And there you go. It's been updated. So I can edit the title block information on these drawings without ever having to open them. I can print all of these files without ever having to open them. I can open up any of these files without even ever knowing where they're saved at. It's a great time saver. It's a great project management tool, data management tool. It just saves so much time and effort.